In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the spark plug extractor tool and get a broken spark plug out of this 5.4 liter Triton V8. This is the three valve one, not the two valve. That one has different spark plug issues. This one is the long tipped spark plug that breaks inside the head. So let's get it out of there. Okay, now I'm going to insert this tool, I oiled up all the threads on the bottom as well as on the top here. And I'm going to drive it in. It's going in very smoothly, which is perfect. That's what I want. I'm actually going to remove the plug at the top, the threaded rod there, so that I can put a socket on the top of that insert. You're going to want to use a 19 millimeter socket for this. Thread that on all the way. Make sure that's bottomed out and snug. Now let's thread in this insert. Thread it in by hand until you start feeling pressure. And that's right about there. Then you're going to want a 16 millimeter socket to go on the top of that insert so you can thread it in. However, at this point, I'm going to attach my mic down there so that you can hear the noises that are happening. They are completely normal. And that crackling that you're about to hear is going to be the ceramic breaking, crushing, and going down into the cylinder. I know what you're thinking. It's going to be fine. We'll blow it out at the end. And the rest of it will just get burnt up, crushed, and sent out the exhaust. Okay, here we go. Okay, that just got tight. I'm gonna stop there. So what most likely happened at this point is the uh, plunger looking thing with the pusher screw has bottomed out either from the threads or because the ceramic has hit the end of its spark plug insert there and it cannot go any further. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna remove this. We're gonna inspect the area and see if we have enough room to put in the extractor for that sleeve. Most likely we will but let's look at it. Switch back to the 19 millimeter socket to get this out. Just a quick tip, side note. Notice that I'm doing everything by hand. You don't wanna use any sort of power tools on this procedure. Okay, we have some broken pieces of ceramic in there. That's perfect. Now what you need is this part right here, which is just an aluminum sleeve that gets pressed down into the spark plug hole. And this is what's gonna guide the extractor. And this ensures that it goes down straight and even and will grab onto that sleeve that's stuck down there. Slide this piece in. It'll seat itself straight down there. You don't have to tap it in or anything. Then take this piece, which is reverse threaded on both ends, slide it down. And this, I'm gonna tap in, I'm gonna force in slightly Make sure you back this nut off all the way, just like that. Now let's take a socket, put it on the end here, and drive this down. Remember, it's reverse thread, so you have to loosen so it can tighten. I can feel it doing its thing. Okay, that's pretty tight right there. Let's take this out. Now we'll use this nut right here and drive it down. This will pull that sleeve straight out. For this, I'm gonna use a one inch socket, preferably a 24 millimeter, but one inch is what I have for this 3 8 ratchet. This one is also reverse threaded, so you're gonna to have to loosen so it can tighten. I actually just switched to my half inch 24 millimeter because it fits better. Here we go. I've attached the mic down here again so that you can hear exactly what's happening. OK, 
Okay, need a longer socket. Well, that just got loose, so let's see what happened here. Let's see what we did. And we did it. Look at that. And that is an extracted Triton spark plug. Now you can take this insert out and you can go about reinstalling your new spark plug. And if you look close, the electrode split, it let the ceramic go through, but then it bottomed out and no ceramic broke. And you know what that means? There is none in the cylinder. So we're good. I actually have another one to extract, so I'm gonna do that one, but the procedure is the same for any of them that you have to do. Now, to get this off of here, you would just grab some locking pliers, put it in a vise or whatever you have to do, and get it off your tool. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.